Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you a really neat trick so that you never draw in a wrong MIDI note again. And we're going to be doing this with the arpeggiator effect. And then for my sound, I'm going to go to my sounds and type in a grand because I want a grand piano for this grand tutorial. So we have two MIDI channels here the grand piano down here. And then we have the MIDI channel, empty MIDI channel, which is the arpeggiator. Now the arpeggiator has a really neat feature where it, when you kind of step up, you can choose the distance, so one semitone, but you can adjust the transpose. So like, is that just going up one semitone no matter what? Or are you, you know, selecting, or do you want it to be in a major or minor key? And what is the root note down here? So we're going to kind of discover what uh, what note we want as our root note. So as let's say I want this in the key of G major. Uh, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to select a MIDI track here. Right click, insert MIDI. And I'm going to find uh, G. Any G will do. I'll just hover over. There we go. This will be our root. And this is what will uh, affect the arpeggiator. So I want the key to be in G, and I want it to be in minor. And I'm going to max out the steps, and I want each step to have a distance of 1. So in theory, when I hit G on here, it will start at G, and it'll go, it'll just play the scale in G minor all throughout. And uh, yeah, we'll just do it like that at the rate of, you know, 16th or whatever. So tricky part is I need to actually send this MIDI, the MIDI output, into the uh, this channel. This is the channel that I'm going to record in. So I'll just go to all ins here. This is the MIDI in drop down. And I will go to MIDI 2. Wait, yeah, yeah, 2 MIDI. Right down here, right? See that? Bam. Now I'll go in. And now, right? I'm actually going to record that. That's our scale. All right. There we have it. So I'm going to uh, consolidate that. Go over here. I'm going to hit this little neat button called Fold. You're going to want this a little bit later. So this is basically our, uh, our scale from G to G. We'll just get rid of that A. We don't need that. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to move everything over here. I can do it in a number of ways, but I can also just delete, double click, there you go, delete all that, and double click, and there you go, that is uh, that right there. So say if I want to, oh, I'm just going to get rid of that one. So we have our scale, uh, G, A, uh, A sharp, C, D, D sharp, and F, that is G minor. So say I want to stretch this along uh, more than one octave. Uh, that's pretty simple. Just select. Make sure you have like a little bit of a buffer space here. Hit Control D, boom, and then hold uh, Shift and then press up, and that will move everything up a uh, a semitone, or not a semitone. Sorry, an octave. It'll move it up an octave. And uh, yeah, just take that. Kind of do the same thing. Select all of those. Duplicate. Uh, shift, down, down, and then there you go. Okay, so that should get us started, right? So what I'll do is I'll actually hit fold, and fold will get rid of everything that there's a, not a note on. And uh, yeah, there you have it. So I'll turn off the uh, the MIDI in. I don't want the, the, the two MIDI to be feeding into the grand here. And I will essentially, um, this guy over here, and uh, hit fold, and then there's all my notes that make sense. And I can do all sorts of stuff, like make little chords. I might wanna go auto, sorry. Make sure you put auto back on. I'm an idiot. There's that one. Let's just uh, kind of cycle through. I'll select this part. And you can do all sorts of stuff. Find the right uh, chords here. And 
and uh, do all that and uh, make really cool little little ideas. And uh, things like that. Got my tempo all weird now. And uh, yeah, you just do that, and you can move those up and down. And Bob's your uncle. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned stuff. That is, that is the way of the voice, as they say. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, take care, and have a good one.